Hey, families and kids. So this Sunday, Pastor Jacob preached out of the Bible, Jonah 1, verses 7 through 16. And we met a guy again named Jonah. And Jonah got on a boat. And he was headed to clue number one is not Nineveh. Tarshish. What a funny word, Tarshish. And so Jonah went to Tarshish on a boat. And while he was on the boat, God revealed himself to Jonah and to some sailors who did not know God. So we see that God used Jonah to tell others about who he really is. So I want you to have fun this week and make a boat craft. I've made one here for you. You can actually make a boat craft out of many things that might be at your house. You can use foil. That's probably one of the easiest ways. You could use an empty bottle. You could cut the top off or you could cut it sideways, but you would just cut it and then see if it floats. It should float, it just might have to be creative. Let's see, you can use popsicle sticks by gluing them together. Maybe you could try taping them. And you can even go outside and get actual sticks from the yard and try and string those together or you could glue them, okay? But I used straws and I went ahead and did it ahead of time because I used a glue gun. So you might need someone to help you with this. Um, it'll be a fun craft to do together as a family. And you can get really creative with your boat and um, see what you can come up with. The best part of this craft is after you make your boat, you have to test it out and put it in the water and see if it works. All right, parents, what I want you to do is as your kid's playing with it in the water, you can review the story. You could even retell the story, read it out of the Bible, and let your kids recreate the storm and the people, maybe some Lego characters, or just get creative with some rocks or pieces of grass. I mean, just have fun. Get creative um, and go along with that Bible story again with your kids. All right, so remember, wash your hands and God is in control. See you guys later.